The Battle of Clendathu. A day that will live in infamy. But from tragedy springs hope, as the Federation rebuilds its fleet bigger and stronger than before. To fuel this war machine, all eyes are now on Qalasha. Once an isolated outpost, this mineral-rich world has become a key part of humanity's battle for survival. But the planet's vital mining industry may now be in danger after reports of bugs on the surface. And so the mobile infantry answers humanity's call. These brave men and women will defend Quilasha from any insect aggression. With the size of the bug problem now clear, immediate action is needed. The mobile infantry moves into gear to protect Quilasha, its mines, and its people. Quilashans take great pride in their planet's mining industry. Through sweat of brow, valiant colonists dig up the precious minerals the Federation needs. It's an ore effort for the war effort, and they're not going to let a few bugs scare them off. The mobile infantry has begun escorting workers, many of them patriotic volunteers, back into the mines so they can keep excavating the future of humanity. There's danger afoot, underfoot. The bugs lurk in subterranean tunnels, preparing for their next vicious attack. Wiping out these nests is dangerous work, but nothing the mobile infantry can't handle. Our brave troopers will uncover and eradicate the enemy wherever they hide. The only thing worse than a bug is a traitor. After a string of civilian deaths, subversive elements are using the mining tragedy to push their own false agenda. One such rabble-rouser is Thomas Rees, leader of the Qalashan Miners' Union. In times of war, dissent is deadly and will not be tolerated. Execution tonight at 6, all net, all channels. Federation scientists ask, who turned off the lights? Rolling blackouts plague the planet as bugs target Quilash's electrical grid. Industry grinds to a halt, threatening to paralyze the war effort. Military operations are underway to retake the critical power station and nip these outages in the bud. The mobile infantry will get the job done. Peace and prosperity. After the bug's defeat, Quilasha has become an oasis of calm in a violent galaxy. Grateful colonists enjoy an idyllic life working in the mines, safe under the Federation's watchful eye. The mobile infantry stands vigilant, ready to respond to any threat, big or small. Even in peacetime, there's still work to do. Just today, a group of miners were trapped underground after a cave-in. Hang tight down there, boys. Help is on the way. Attacks are reported across Quilasha, overwhelming local defenses. But hope is not lost. The tide of insects will meet their match at Fort Maru, the mobile infantry's formidable base of operations. From their new headquarters in high orbit to oversee the conflict, Military Command has expressed their full confidence in Maru's ability to withstand the coming siege. Don't doubt this redoubt. The bug stops here. Fort Meru has fallen to the bugs. Now it's humanity's turn to strike back. Federation forces launch a massive counterattack to cleanse the planet. In the air and on the ground, they'll deliver a swift one-two punch that'll catch the bugs off guard. Their superior numbers are no match for the Federation's superior tactics. A 
a bitter setback for humanity. Thousands are dead after the military's failed offensive. In this dark hour, the fate of Kulasha hangs by a thread. But one thing that remains undefeated is the courage of the brave men and women of the mobile infantry. Groups of survivors are scattered across the planet's harsh desert, struggling to return to civilization and jump back into the fight. They haven't given up, and neither shall we. Lost Behind Enemy Lines One gifted psychic officer has unraveled the bug's secret strategy to conquer Qualasha. But his shuttle has gone down deep in bug territory, and now a desperate rescue is mounted to recover him and the vital knowledge he possesses. The mobile infantry never leave a comrade behind. No more intelligence leaks. Psychic operatives have discovered the bug's despicable methods for stealing our secrets. And just in time, Federation scientists are developing a new wonder weapon to annihilate the arachnid threat. And it is Qualashian industry that is providing the key material components behind this miracle of military engineering. Citizens can rest easy knowing its secrets are safe from prying bug eyes. All-out war rages on Qualasha. Federatsiagrad, the planet's capital, is the scene of bitter fighting as the mobile infantry mount a stalwart defense against the invading bug hordes. Local forces are surrounded, but help is on the way. The Sky Marshal vows not one step back, dispatching the full might of human technology to hold the line. For weeks, Qualasha's capital has been an urban battlefield. The fight for Federatsiagrad is now a war of attrition, as brave defenders hold back what seems like an endless tide of arachnid warriors. But after this long ordeal, victory is finally within reach. A powerful counterattack is being planned to drive out the bugs and save the city. Savagery in the sewers. Bugs infest the intricate mazes of pipes and tunnels beneath Federatsiagrad, using these subterranean passages to roam freely throughout the city. Here comes the eviction crew. Mobile infantry forces storm underground to kick out the arachnid intruders. They don't mind a little dirt and grime. Not when there's bugs to kill. and stay out. Arachnid forces are on the run after the mobile infantry routes them from the city. To prevent further incursions, the military is building a line of fortifications around Qualasha's industrial sector. Troopers are busy clearing out the last few insect stragglers from the green zone. Safety, security, and a return to normal life are just around the bend. A heavy price has been paid for Qualasha's freedom, but victory is closer than ever. Fleeing our superior air power, the bugs have retreated into deep underground caves that even our bombs can't reach. While the fleet keeps them pinned down, the MI mobilizes for a final assault on arachnid territory. Breaking news. The fleet's main airbase is under attack. Bugs have breached the safety zone, finding a weak spot in the surrounding ring of steel. This targeted assault seems designed to cripple our aerial capabilities. Losing those strike craft would be a fatal setback for the coming offensive. The Sky Marshal's master plan revealed. Lure the enemy out of hiding with the temptation of an easy victory. And after letting them in, we've slammed the door behind them. 
MI forces have captured a key defense post, blocking off the mountain pass and sealing the bugs in open desert. Caught by the jaws of a steel trap, those vermin have nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Easy pickings for our airstrikes. Let's finish the job. With arachnid corpses littering the burning sands, it's finally time to stamp out the bug infestation on Gwalasha. Federation troops surround the last remnant of hostile territory and begin their march towards victory. To end the war over the planet, only one question remains. Where is the brain bug? The bug menace on Qualasha has been exterminated. The Federation's victory is a victory for all humankind, bringing prosperity and harmony to this troubled world. It's a system that protects, a system that works, a system that needs planets like Qualasha to keep the fight going on all fronts. Are you doing your part?